Hello there, hope everyone's doing well. My name is Josh and today I'm here to take you through Group 28's final presentation for Project 81. Now today's presentation is split into three main sections, but before we go any further, I believe it's vital to introduce you to the people who made this project possible. First, we have Simone Bonardi from Pretoria, Luini Mwazi from Cape Town, Keisha Govender from Durban, Angelique Mustad from Pretoria, and finally, as I mentioned earlier, myself, Joshua De Silva, also from Pretoria. So let's dive right in. Now, the entire brief is revolving around circular design and how we can apply such a system. Now, circular design can easily be broken up into three easy steps. Designing out waste and pollution, keep products and materials in use, and regenerating natural systems. Now, let's talk about our problem. Balgatex has identified one of their waste challenges. What can they do with old carpets that are removed from buildings? Now, what about our need? As a group, we identified South Africa's unemployment rate as a very big need. Our country's unemployment rate is currently as 32.5%. We specifically try to find a solution for Belgatex and fulfill the need of our country at the same time. Which brings us onto our solution. What you're seeing here is a very basic infographic illustrating the three main components of our solution as well as the roles of each component. In layman's terms, the solution would be a collaborative project between Belgatex, a public benefit organization or a PBO for short, and the members of an underprivileged community. The project would go as follows. Belgatex would supply the PBO with financial support as well as old carpets. The PBO would then set up a program to teach the people of the community how to create artworks using the carpets, as well as teaching them how to run their very own local business. The people would then either leave to work independently or have the option to work and sell through the PBO, which would take a small commission to keep their work going. Now the following slides will cover each component's role more in depth. Now also let it be known that for the purpose of today's presentation, we've selected the PBO, the Wilderness Conservation Trust, or for short, the WCT. However, this can be replaced with any other PBO of choice. Now what would Belgatex do? They would provide the carpets as well as financial support to run the program. This guarantees 0% carpet wastage as the carpets are donated to the PBO. By funding the organization, Belgatex will also be able to make tax claims. It will provide a positive image to the company as well as form a relationship with the community as well as having financial benefits for Belgatex. And what role does the community play? Belgatex encourages communities to get involved with the local artists that will share the skill of creating art. They'll lead the local businesses, developing and providing jobs to locals with which benefits the community and its income flow, as well as creating a space for artist exposure. All this means throwing out less waste into the environment. Together with, and in this case, the WCT, Bulgatex would be contributing towards their message of protecting animals and the wilderness, empowering communities to work together and to save the environment. Now, how does circular design fit into the circular economy? A circular economy is a zero waste system introduced into the development of products and services to benefit both businesses, society and the environment. In this case, we'd be using old carpets from Bagotex, which would be upcycled into a new beautiful product to help with the PBO. Now, this minimizes the waste of carpets. Carpets are made of multiple layers of various materials, making them very expensive and technically difficult to dispose of. With our solution, the circular economy is enabled because we're developing a process for more efficient ways for these carpets to get upcycled. Bogatex and the PBO benefits from circular economy because it creates new profit opportunities, reduces costs of reusing or cleaning old art carpets, and less virgin material is required. Now, I've mentioned many times the benefits of the system, who gives, who receives, who takes. However, the beauty of the circular solution is not in the giving and taking, but the potential of it. Not only does our solution follow circular economic strategies, but it also has a considerable influence on the relationships forged between all three parties. This solution gives Belgatex an excellent opportunity to form relationships with the community, the PBOs, and local artists. Art brings people closer together, has the power to inspire, motivate, and shape people. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you have taken something away from today's presentation. All the best.